What's going on guys? I've got a special video for you today. This is going to be a ruck or pack dump tag video. I'm gonna call out a few of my favorite YouTubers, especially some of my best supporters right now, and you guys have to dump your rucksack the same as I am. Stick around, because it's gonna get interesting. So in the military, especially in the infantry, we would get surprise inspections. Not your typical barracks, vehicle maintenance bullshit, but you would actually have to dump your rug or your combat gear, vest and helmets and everything. And it was a surprise inspection. You got no heads up. They just wanted to see how well you were maintaining your gear so that uh, if the call came and you were alerted to go somewhere, or if you're already deployed and you had to go into a quick reaction force mission, they wanted to make sure you could actually go without holding people up and being all fucked up. I just got back from an awesome hike in my area in Germany. Go check that video out. And besides adding water to my MSR bag, I realized that I haven't actually checked my ruck out to see if it's ready to go or not in a while. So we're going to implement this infantry standard right now. I'm going to dump my ruck and see if I hold up to uh, the good old grunt days. And I'm also gonna call some of my fellow YouTubers out. You guys have to do the same thing. No cheating. The lucky few are Kirk Hermery, you knew it was coming, Hannibal Surplus, Survival Metal Man, Coleman Outdoors, and a new guy, Bushcraft Ridge. That's right, brother, you got called out. The rules are, you gotta be able to survive for at least three days, three nights with this pack um, without having to go 100% Rambo style. So I know most dudes would be like, oh, I can survive three days, no problem, man, with a knife, I'll figure it out. I mean, realistically, almost comfortably survive those nights and days. So don't get all butt hurt and just show me a knife. This is about having fun, showing off some cool gear, and most importantly, during this coronification, uniting some of the YouTubers, especially some of the guys that I've been paying attention to and that I want my followers to check out too. At the end of this video, I will put up some shots of their channels. So make sure you go check them out because they're doing some really good shit. So, are we ready? Fire, scan your lane, and dump. Can you see me out there? So this is the shit that's always in my car. Um, Germany's always cold, so I always have this. I always got my uh, Merrill boots, doesn't matter what type. These are the ones I like right now. So, good old Alice, my best girlfriend for 18 years now. I take it everywhere, and I'm pretty sure it's always ready. So, got a K-bar. You could do basically all your woodworking with that. A redundant land nav device. Basic compass, it works. Secondary water source with a canteen cup for cooking. All right, let's see. Uh, it's my little uh, tailor kit with an extra lighter but a sewing kit, extra pair of socks, tack light, do a battery check. That's always important, good to go. This is my uh, original OIF-1 scarf, great. Headlamp, does it work? Yes, good to go. Some basic work gloves. All right, this is kind of top secret. You guys don't need to know about this, but if you do, you'll get some of my videos. One pillow. This is the uh, Swagman roll um, from Helicon Techs. I'm testing this out right now, but it's kind of like a uh, all-in-one sleeping bag, poncho liner, freaking whatever. It's pretty cool so far. I'll do a video on it. Big ass DD tarp. You always gotta have a tarp. Camping booties for cold nights. I got a goodie bag inside of a goodie bag. Oh, spare fuel canister. This is my uh, tie-up system, random gear, pegs, stakes, uh, bag, clips. Waterproof bag with my meat and potatoes. This is my summer setup. So I have my hammock that has a bug net attached to it. Very light, very comfy. 
the easy ass tree hugging system. You just put them in there, clip the hammock to it, no adjustments. And like I said, Germany's always cold. So got my uh, under quilt. Dee Dee makes a really good cheap one. So radio pouch, like anybody ever puts a radio in it. Water source, the MSR dromedary bag, four liters. So between this and the canteen and my water purification system, I will easily be able to last three days. If I didn't have my water purification system, say I was a dumbass and forgot it, I could last three days and three nights with five liters of water. It's doable. Cliff bar, that's always important. Extra food, uh, coffee. Nutritional intake facilitation device. To you civilians, it is a fork and spoon combo. Fire stuff, uh, another lighter, bellow system, and this is like uh, alcohol cotton swabs, extra rubber bands, and extra tape to help start fires. Medical bag, some meds, electrolytes, not Gatorade, sugar salt water, but pure electrolytes. I will do a special video on this. You're gonna like that one. First aid kit that I made with more electrolytes and a couple more meds in there. Baby wipes, duh. This is an old army field dressing kit that I actually was given when I showed up. They don't issue them anymore. So you can make uh, all kinds of shit, tourniquets, bandages, presser dressing, but it's good to have around for all kinds of stuff. It has a safety pen included. Hey, more electrolytes. Water purification tablets or as we say in the grunt world uh non piss out of your ass pills water filter water gathering bag so i could actually sustain myself no problem with plenty of water battery pack i didn't even know if i had this with me and as always we got to do a battery check does it work are the lights yep we got led lights it's charged that is a go <laughs> An old beer cap, because I never dump trash into the woods. And Nomex gloves, good up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Good for starting fires, bush crafty stuff, not melting your fucking hands off. Super light, very cheap rain jacket, Solongyak. Best fucking outdoor company I've ever found. Same company, wet weather pants. All right. Salty, fatty, coated peanuts. I love these things. I can survive on these all day. Uh, there's over a thousand calories in this one bag alone. <laughs> Some freaking pepper spray. I don't know, you never know. Uh, D-ring and a weapons sling. This is hardcore nylon. This is good for all kinds of shit. Stickers bar, extra calories. Some extra giant safety pins for whatever. I will put those back in my little sewing kit part. Right here on the inside of the frame, two bungee cords, which can allow me to set up my tarp very quickly. That's good. And that be it, folks. Yes, all that shit fits in my Alice pack. Actually, very easily, I could fit a lot more in my Alice. So I think I would be totally comfortable for three days and nights. No problem. I'm lacking on food because I've been snacking on a lot of it, but between the, the Cliff Bar, Snickers Bar, and the coated whatever peanuts, I would be okay. As a grunt, I learned to survive for multiple days and nights in the woods on cigarettes and coffee alone. So I would be okay either way. To my buddies I called out, get to your video ASAP. No excuses, no bullshit. Let's see what you got. Feel free to tag any of your other buddies in this stuff too. Um, like I said, this coronification, everybody's kind of getting a little weird right now. So we need to stick together and maybe we'll broaden our uh, channel horizons. I'll give some of my viewers some other channels to check out and hopefully everybody just has fun with it. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, get the notifications because youtube doesn't give a shit about us little guys share it with your friends and stay tuned for the role of those youtubers i tagged because i'm going to give you guys some clips of their shit 
And until the next video, take care, guys.